Hello, living in Boulder V Log. It's the second of Feb February twenty twenty. Uh, it's like eleven o'clock, ten fifty or something, ten fifty something in the morning. Just got up. I had insomnia all night long. I had a pretty good. I did a pretty good job of not like fucking around on the internet. I did a little bit here and there until three in the morning, but for the most part, just laid here until I saw the sunrise, and that's when I got to sleep, and then I managed to get my sleep till 10, but anyways, today I'm not going to do dick, uh, I'm not going to do, um, I'm going to go down, I'm going to ride my bike down to the subway and get a subway sandwich, and I'm going to ride my bike over to my mama's house, <sighs> help her with some household thingies today, but that's all I'm going to do today, because Yesterday, I was completely and totally wrecked to hell. Like, oh, look, my hair's already grown in. Um, already wrecked to hell. Um, I, um, yeah, I was, like, feverish. Like, I basically had a fever. And my body was so cooked that my brain was cooked, and I couldn't handle any. I couldn't think, so I just slept all day. I got up at, like... I think my mom came over, though, at, like, 8 in the morning, and we went over to the gym yesterday. <sighs> yeah. And I stretched a little bit into the exercise bike with her a little bit, and then we did the uh, leg press machine. That's, like, the one machine she does. She, she does one, and I do the other. I did 20 reps of, like, 220 or something. I can't remember. And then I went over, and she does, like, one-legged leg press or something. And then I went over and stretched for, like, ten minutes with her. And then we went over and swam laps. I did, like, ten laps or something. Which I was totally out of breath. It was the first time I went swimming since I got this egg machine. And I could feel my leg, my muscles were totally sore from the egg machine. The egg machine and swimming, they use the same muscles. The only difference is, and the upper body muscles, the only difference is swimming in real life is a hundred times harder on your lungs. So I was way out of breath. My lungs apparently are not in shape. <laughs> I was only able to swim one length and then kind of have to catch my breath for like 30 seconds and then do another length. Um, but that had to do with the fact that I was totally wrecked yesterday. Um, and then I went, we went and sat in the hot tub and then we did steam room and then we did a uh, sauna. And then I came home and I was just gone. I, I, all, I, all I could do is lay down and I fell asleep. I slept like a baby all day. And then I wanted to get on, and when I woke up, um, um, I wanted, to, my mom was saying, don't do anything, just watch TV, and I thought that was a pretty good idea, so I tried to get on Netflix, um, I haven't been on Netflix since I let my own personal Netflix expire, <sighs> the password was wrong, so I went over to her house, because she wasn't answering the phone, so I had to go over there, and then, um, had her change the password, which was Netflix said, and then it wouldn't take the new password. So I don't know, maybe there's too many people on our Netflix because my two brothers are on there too. I don't know if four people are allowed on the Netflix, but um, so I'm going to call them today, find out what's going on. But yeah, I just lay down and I tried to work on my website or at least look at my website. I had my, I had my computer read the first page of my website to me. Um, Mm, but I wasn't able to pay attention to any of it. I just wanted to sleep. My brain was turned off. And um, I was wrecked yes the day before yesterday, too. I was only able to ride 20 miles on my bike inside, and then I just, uh, by the end of it, I was just totally fucked. And then, so yesterday I was fucked. So And I haven't I haven't ma managed to recover since I started on the 8th, my very first day on the 8th of uh, January. So, um... I'm, um, I want to give it one more day, you know, and if I'm totally fucked tomorrow, doesn't matter. I'll just, I'll just get back into it. Um, I'm hoping it's not, it doesn't have any, this, my ability, my like inability to exercise and all I do is get more and more tired. I hope that doesn't have anything to do with my age. I'm 46 years old. I'm hoping it has to do with the fact that I haven't exercised in years and years and years and years and years and years and years, and years, and years so that I <sighs> so I could finish something on my website, which I was never able to do. But um, that's that's not my fault. That's because nobody else is uh, as creative as I am. I would absolutely love it if somebody on this planet of seven billion people had of uh, Google Earth Rome because then I could I could use their project as my flyover videos. 
But there's nobody as creative as me on the entire planet. I'm the only person who Google Earth Rome, which is completely blows my mind. Um, but it was too kind consuming. I couldn't finish it. And so I can't do my flyover videos until I finish Rome. So, uh, anyway, um, I'm, uh, um, I, 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 I'm going to assume that it's, it's the fact that I haven't exercised in forever and over and over and ever and ever. And it doesn't have anything to do with my age. Um, I think I can win the Iron Man pro category, Kona. I think I can do it because, um, I've never, I've never actually tried anything athletic before. I was never allowed to. I was always, the priority was always school, but that killed me. And, and then after that, I just, uh, wanted to do other things like learn Spanish and got married and all that kind of crazy shit. So, uh, that means that, that means that officially... Until you're proven that you're that you that you suck, you're supposed to think that you're the best in the world, and so I'm still in best in the world category. Um, um, tomorrow, who knows what I'll do tomorrow? I'm gonna try to get up at six. Tomorrow would be the perfect opportunity to get up at six, because I can just sleep all day long, and then I can or lay in bed all day long, and then lay in bed all day all night long. I, uh, hey, 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 probably won't sleep tonight. I've been getting, I've been living on like three hours of RAM a day since I started, um, exercising because my body still wants to stay up all night because that's how I was activating before and it just kind of takes a while. So, um, but, uh, so today what I'm going to do, I'm going to go over to Subway because they're open now. I got on the internet, it was at eight, it was like 7 o'clock, and I went over there because the internet said that they're open until 8 o'clock on Saturdays. So I went over there, and the kid's like, oh, we're closed. And I'm like, what the fuck? Internet said help today. I looked at the sign. It said that they close at 7 on Saturdays. So their sign on their store and their internet is conflicting, which sucked because there's traffic over there. But it's only like one block away. But uh, yeah, I'm going to go over there now. How is that way for you? <laughs> for breakfast and um um and um and then I'm gonna come back here because my brain isn't overcooked. I can actually think right now. Even though my body I got up and I I uh, got to the bathroom earlier this morning and I was like, oh my god, I'm still effed up. So um, I'm going to, I'm going to go over to the subway, have me a subway. And, oh, my mom said that drinking lots of water is the most important thing. When you're first starting out, there's this thing called thrombosis. Or I can't remember what it's called, but it's where you overtrain and you burn your muscles and there's too much muscle crap that your liver and kidneys have to filter through. And if they get backed up with all the muscle crap, then you start peeing blood and then you like might die and you have to go to the hospital and shit. And I don't have insurance, so I'm not going to deal with any of that. Um, but the, the the best thing that you can do when you suffer from that is just to drink a shit ton of water. One thing that was interesting is I thought I was drinking a lot of water. And then like last night at four, I had a whole glass because I forgot to drink it, a tall glass of water. And my body totally absorbed it. Like I didn't even pee this morning. So I, yeah, I was, I need to drink more water, more water. Um, so, um... Today is an exciting day for me because um, I'm grounded today against my will. You know, um, I'm totally fired up to train. This is super exciting for me because this is the first time, 46 years old, but I think it, I don't mind it because this was the first year that they have high quality. Holy shit, I've almost talked for 10 minutes. High quality tech, technology, dude. You got Apple, you got iPhone, you got I, Apple watches that are affordable, which I already have. Got those like uh, Strava Incorporated bike computers. I have the Garmin 1030, the very best Garmin you can possibly buy. I'm like, I'm, I have like a, I have a fire colored bicycle that has a water bottle as a frame, and the, it's like all and all of us, you know, with the Strava and the Zwift and all that kind of stuff. All of a sudden, we're in the freaking future. So, you know, other guys my age, um, they're burned out, man. They're burnt out. They couldn't get back into triathlon or bike racing. Dudes who are pros. 
like Lance Armstrong type guys, um, because they're burnt out. They're burnt out mentally. They're burnt out physically. Probably wore away all their cartilage and shit. So I kind of been saving myself my whole life for this moment. You know, my body's ready to go. I do have some injuries, some lingering injuries, uh, fucked up, uh, left, uh, left ankle, but, uh, I can build that stuff back. I'll just drink a lot of water a lot and, um, and, uh, lots of MSM and vitamin C and water and training and you, you, your body will fix itself, you know? Um, so, um, uh, so yeah, I'm grounded against my will. Cause you know, first time in my life I have money to train, at least for now I do. I need Trump to win. If Trump, if Bernie wins, I'm effed. I'm totally fucked. I'm going to be on the street within a year or begging people for mercy. Um, cause nobody helps me financially. Nobody's ever helped me a single penny. Uh, and I don't, I've never made a single penny on my website or, or YouTube. Although supposedly I ha I could make money with ad, with ad thrive on my website, but I don't want people to look at my website now cause I need to add words. So that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to, oh, but anyway, but I was on saying first time in my life, yeah, I have money, gear and motivation and there's nobody telling me to stop. My dad's under the ground. So he's, he's not around here to breathe fire into me. And my mother is, um, totally supportive, which is amazing. So yeah, I'm there. I'm there. I'm nothing's holding me back, man. Um, so, but I'm grounded against my will today. So, um, I, uh, I'm going to go get on the internet and I'm going to do what I've wanted to do forever. Um, but I've been too high cause I've been too focused on projects like trying to finish Google, trying to finish something like Google Earthing Rome. Um, I'm going to, uh, yeah, look at the surface levels of my website and do writing, dude. I'm going to listen to writing and then write and just write my ass off. Cause if you look at my website, there's this big white patch at the top middle. That's for the words. Everybody knows that white background means black words on top. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go do what, do black words on white background all day long. Just, brrr. I'm not even gonna read what I write. I'm just gonna write. Brrr. I can write real fucking fast when I'm in, uh, when I'm in rough draft mode, man. Pop, just pound, pound out that shit. I can type fast too. So I'm just going to type the shit out of everything and then maybe go back and read it. And then tomorrow I'm going to hit it. And, um, you know, if it turns out that I can't ever recover, I'm just going to train myself to death. Fuck that. Fuck it. I'd rather die. I'd rather train myself to death and whittle myself into a skinny little guy than to take any more days off. So. Besides, I'm a fat bastard now. Um, I'm a fat bastard with no muscle, as you can see. So, um, losing weight's the best thing that you could do, you know? Like, if I was some, if I was my own coach, I'd be like, hmm, the best thing for you to do this time of your life is to completely destroy your body so that you whittle away. You know, even if it means don't eat. I just need to whittle away because it's mainly a mental thing. It's confidence. Um, um, if I look in the mirror and I'm looking at ribs, I'm going to get confident, even if I'm totally weak. So, uh, anyways, I've been talking long enough. So, uh, yeah, man, if anybody wants to, is, looks at my website and is like, when the fuck's this motherfucker going to actually add words and explain himself? Well, the answer is today. <laughs> so, uh, I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Hopefully I uh, will have, uh, done writing and uh hopefully when i do my video when i get up tomorrow i'll be like oh you know what i feel freshy because you know when you feel fresh you know when you feel like shit and you know when you feel like fresh after being a, you know like immediately all i have to do is stand up and i'll be like oh. like there'll be a certain like fire inside of me you know and that's what i'm hoping you know and then i'll be able to go viper that's viper time viper time is when you're writing and all of a sudden you go oh my god am i strong oh my god am i not what <gasps> viper so the Maybe Viper time will be tomorrow. Anyway, today it's uh it's intellectual time. So talk to you tomorrow.